Hey guys, it's Shy. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, if you're not new, hey boo. If you guys are interested in this look, let me know in the comments and I can have a tutorial coming for you guys. Really, the lashes are what makes the look and the lashes are from, okay, the lashes are from Lash 7. This is in the style Billionaire and you can use my code MUASHY to get some money off but we all know why you're really here, okay? We're here for the Ulta haul. So these products I've accumulated, I wanna say since February. Um, Yeah, so these are older products. I did kind of shop a little bit more at Ulta, so I might do like a part two um, haul on my TikTok. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, Follow your girl. It's Makeup Life by Shay. I'll have it in the description box. So yeah, check that out if you want to see what else I got. I got some newer goodies, newer hot to the market products. These are going to be a little bit of some older products. So yeah, let me stop rambling and let's go ahead and get into this huge, okay, Ulta haul. So I have this like little mini bag inside of the big bag. So we're going to go through this. I picked up the e.l.f. Power Grip. This is the one with niacinamide. Niacinamide is going to be better for controlling your oils. This is going to be better if you have oily skin or, you know, combo to oily skin. I have oily skin and I honestly use the Power Grip. I actually use the regular Power Grip and as you can see, I am getting low on her. So I thought to just pick this one up and see what she's about. I picked up a NARS foundation, okay? This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have never tried this foundation. I picked up the shade Medium Dark for Macau. Um, and basically it just says, meet NARS's first longwear foundation that looks stronger, stays longer with skin recognition pigment for the, for the truest color match and 16 hours of wear. And it also features NARS skin optimizing complex, raspberry, apple, and watermelon extracts for smoother, healthier looking skin, okay? And I am definitely about a smooth, healthy looking base. I'm not sure how well it's gonna last because like I said, I'm oily, but I decided to try her out. The next product, my boo, okay, Miss Tatanisha Sankar herself put me on to this product. She raves about this product, okay, and that is the Makeup Revolution IRL Foundation, okay? Honestly, I have never tried a Makeup Revolution foundation. Um, their range just never really intrigued me, but you know, it's oil free. It's supposed to be long lasting. So I decided to try her. I feel like I'm going through like a foundation phase. This foundation is supposed to be a breathable, soft matte, long wear foundation. So of course that's perfect for this oily skin over here. I picked up the shade 13.5. This is also supposed to be 16 hour wear, okay? So we will see about her. Next, I picked up the e.l.f. O Face Satin Lipstick. I picked up the shade No Doubt and it's supposed to be like a beautiful nude. Okay. E.l.f. has been popping out with some bangers, okay? So I picked this lipstick up. I, of course, had to pick up a backup, okay? I picked up the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and this is in the shade Deep Olive. I love this concealer. It's super affordable. It doesn't leave my under eyes, like, dry and cakey. It looks so flawless. I also wanted to try the Keys Soul Care. This is the Keys Soul Care Moisturizer. Um, it says it's a skin transformation cream. It's developed in partnership with a board certified dermatologist, okay? This is a fragrance-free, potent, yet gentle, clean formula that hydrates and nourishes for plumped and radiant skin. 
I am oily, but I like a nice hydrating moisturizer. If it's really thick, I'll only use it at night. But if it's, you know, like a lightweight cream, I can get away with it during the day. But ultimately, the gel moisturizers work better for my skin during the day. But I love a good moisturized base, okay? So I had to pick this up. If you guys don't know, Alicia Keys owns this Soul Care line. So that is a Black-owned skincare brand. We love to support Black-owned brands over here. Also picked up a new mascara. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is called their Big Lash Mascara. Um, I picked up, of course, True Black. Um, and this is supposed to be an extra volumizing mascara. Now, I have the tiniest lashes ever, okay? They're honestly pathetic. I normally don't even use mascara, but I wanted to try to get into mascara. Ever since I tried the One Size Fantasize mascara, that mascara is so bomb. But I was like, let me try a couple different mascaras out before I, you know, repurchase. But don't be surprised if you see her in my Sephora haul, you know, we'll see. Um, so I like the brush on here. I love a thick wand. So we'll see. We'll see what she is giving. Next, I picked up a brow pencil from Revlon. This is in soft brown, and that's what it looks like. Um, normally, I go for a dark brown, but when I purchased this, I had the blonde hair. Um, so, not sure if this is still going to work, but we'll see. So, while I was in Florida, I got to meet my booze. I got to officially meet PR Firecracker, okay? You know him as PR Firecracker. That is my friend, Santos, okay? I know him as Santos. Um, and of course, you guys know Tatanisha. Um, we went shopping together and they had me out there spending some money, honey, okay? So I ended up picking up the irl concealer while i was there so that made me pick up later the foundation but originally i got the concealers so the concealers are a soft matte finish just like the foundation um so i'm not sure how that is gonna work normally i like a more hydrating concealer but we'll see summer's coming up so you know i need all the mattifying products i can get okay so this is also oil free 16 hours it says it's waterproof as well so we'll see i'm going on vacation so i might just bring these babies with me i picked up the shades c 12.5 and C 10.5. We'll see what I think about these concealers. I also picked up two lipstick shades from Tress Luce Beauty, and this is owned by the beautiful Becky G, okay? I picked up the shade Dark Cafecito and Nude, okay? She is very beautiful. These are more like brownie, um, brownie toned lipsticks um if you guys want to see swatches i'll also do that on my tiktok or maybe i'll insert some you know in this video i have been hearing so many good things about this brand and i've never tried it before and that is the mayel okay it's called mayel um i think some people say miel but i think it's mayel i picked up the rosemary mint strengthening hair mask and it's infused with biotin and encourages hair growth okay this is a restorative deeply moisturizing penetrative mask for dry thirsty tresses the rosemary and mint strengthening hair mask is developed with your hair's greatest needs in mind nourish hydrate and strengthen all at once with this nutrient rich formula so I'm always down to grow my hair. I'm always down for healthy hair. I recently did cut my hair, not just like the ends. I like went and did like a full haircut on myself and my hair feels so much better. It wasn't really damaged. It was just looking a little dusty. But um, my daughter, Leilani, she has very beautiful curly hair. So we just want to keep maintaining hydration 
and just helping with her hair growth. She has very fine hair. She has baby hairs for days. So I just wanna keep encouraging her hair growth. Um, so I wanted to try this out. So this is a product we can both use on our hair. And speaking of Leilani, anytime we go to Ulta, we stock up on some bubble bath. So this is the watermelon bubble bath. It's supposed to be a three-in-one for body wash, bubble bath, and shampoo. I'm not using this for shampoo. Your hair is probably going to be extremely stripped. Um, but if you use it for shampoo, you know, do you boo. Um, this literally smells like a Jolly Rancher, okay? It smells so divine. So I love to wash her with this and to just um, use it for bubble bath. So um, it comes with 24 fluid ounces and it is the Ulta brand. So sometimes they have them on sale, sometimes they don't. Either way, you can use the Ulta 350 off coupon to save you a little bit of money. Um, but yeah, this and the macadamia scent, uh, I love it. But yeah, I specifically use this for Leilani. And for some reason, I was just into trying new brow products. So I picked up two of the e.l.f. Insta Brow Lift brow pencils. I picked up deep brown and neutral brown. So, so we'll see how I feel about this. I'm pretty picky. I'm honestly loyal to the Morphe brow pencil and the Benefit Brow Pencil, so I'm hoping that these don't let me down, but I do not have high hopes for them, but hopefully they will surprise me. Next, I picked up a product from The Ordinary, okay? This is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. This is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. It says that this niacinamide is supposed to regulate um, sebum, which is um, oils in your skin, and it's also supposed to minimize pores. So having oily skin, um, part of that reason is I did get diagnosed with PCOS, so I'm just trying to help maintain my oils because even when I'm not wearing makeup, I can go out in public and my skin just looks extremely oily. So unless I wear a primer or something like that, you know, I'm just looking a hot mess essentially, just like greasy, oily, all of that. So I wanted to try this niacinamide serum to just help maintain the oils so I don't look so crazy. Um, so yeah, this is going to be like my daytime serum. And then I also picked up the Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. This comes with 60 patches, so you get 30 pairs, and it's formulated to firm, energize, and hydrate tired eyes. So of course, being a mother or being, you know, a woman, okay, this day and age, your girl be tired, okay? I be tired and sometimes I be skipping the eye cream, which you shouldn't do, okay? Stay with your eye cream. So some days I just need that extra pick me up. So this is the perfect way to keep the under eyes hydrated and, you know, brightened and, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting older, okay? I'm pushing 30, ugh. I'm pushing 30, so I don't wanna look all droopy and saggy. I'm trying to keep this skin nice and plump, so self-care is the best care. I can't wait to try these out. Normally, I only use the Pixie um, eye patches, but I really have been liking the brand Good Molecules, so wanted to try this out. I did pick up another mascara. I told you guys, I don't know, that one size really had me shook. So I picked up the e.l.f. Big Mood Mega Volume and Lifting Mascara. It has a hourglass brush. So I don't know if you can see the brush on there, but it's a thick bristle brush. So this is hopefully going to do its job. It's e.l.f. It's affordable. So I had to pick this up. 
I picked up a restock of the Morphe brow pencil. I picked up the shade Java. I prefer Java over chocolate mousse because I feel like chocolate mousse is just a little too dark. I like Java for my brows. So yeah, um, love this. This is honestly a dupe for the Benefit brow pencil. So yes, I was on this ordering it off Morphe before it came to Ulta, but now it's at Ulta so I can just conveniently grab this baby whenever I need it and I love that. I didn't even know I got this, but I got the Belief Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. Mm, I don't even remember buying this. This is a jelly pudding mask. It's going to lock and seal in an explosive hydration overnight. It intensely moisturizes the skin for a dewy glow. It says our belief to rejuvenate dull fatigue skin by locking and sealing hydration all night long. This jelly pudding texture sleeping mask is filled with powerful antioxidants and combines the formula of Belize's of Belief's best-selling aqua bomb and skin smoothing herb Scottish heather so you can wake up smoother with baby skin. This pillow transfer proof formula quickly absorbs to a blanket to blanket the skin with a refreshing smoothing layer of hydration that enforces the skin's outermost layers with the intense moisture for a radiant glowing complexion. So this is honestly going to be super great, especially during the colder months. Now that we're starting to get into the warmer months, I'm probably gonna use this once a week. It is a mask. I do have a lot of detox mask, so I just wanted to switch it up and get some hydration. Um, I follow my boo, PR Firecracker. He has this bomb, okay, skincare routine and he uses a um, facial steamer. Um, so I'm gonna apply this on my, you know, self-care days that I'm excited to incorporate this into my skincare routine. Last but not least, I picked up another foundation, okay. Like I said, it's getting warmer. So recently I have picked up a lot of hydrating, products so to kind of mix it up i picked up the nyx can't stop won't stop foundation i picked up the shade warm mahogany um i cannot wear this foundation on its own it is a this foundation is extremely matte and it makes me look crazy okay i look completely dry if i wear it on its own so i plan on mixing her with like the NARS Radiant, the Juvia's Place Natural Radiant, any of my more glowy foundations, I'm going to be mixing her. That way, you know, I can get more longevity out of those glowy products. That was all the products I pretty much bought in the month of February. Um, I had a lot of time on my hands in February. I was sick. The baby was sick. When I came back from Florida, we had a whole like, it was a lot going on and I was grieving, so I was shopping, okay? I was doing some retail therapy, therapy. So these were the goodies that I picked up. Thank you guys so much for watching this haul. Um, hopefully it wasn't too long. If it was, you're a real one for staying to the end. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.